have you ever gone down in a bike or known anybody who's who, who's gone down and been injured or had any close calls? Oh well, yeah, you know I I had a big wreck uh, when I first started riding on the street and uh, fractured my skull. I woke up in the hospital, didn't know how to talk. I mean the dots were there, but the the motor function to speak wasn't there. It was kind of scary and and all that. And you know God God blessed me with another chance, and um, I learned that I learned a lot. You know, sitting in the hospital bed, you know, kind of thinking about life and if I ever get a chance to be normal again, how I'm going <clears> to <throat> approach um, this experience. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's a very equalizing um, and frightening e experience when you get hurt really seriously on a bike. Uh, and it changed my life. Uh, yeah. For the for the better, I think. What was that process for you getting back on the bike? Was there a fear there, or what, what, how, how, like, what advice would you have for this? Whole, this the whole site of RideAgain.com is people who've just been in an accident. What, what what could you pass on to those guys about getting back on the bike? What was it like for you and and and, and all that? Learn from learn from your experience. Learn from the mistake and apply it towards being a better rider, a more conscious rider. You have to be so aware of, of everybody else. And uh, I think the more aware you are of what's going on around you, the safer rider you'll be. Um, I was an idiot, you know, I mean, a completely idiot. I was, you know, 18 years old and never thought I was going to go down. And there are two kinds of riders, those that have gone down and those that are going to go down. Um, it's just a matter of time sometimes, you know, because there's so many variables to the equation that are out of your control. Um, but you really have to be mindful of what everybody else is doing around you. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's kind of bad to say this, but people in cars are the enemy. Yeah. They really are. And you've got to treat them like that to survive on a bike. You've got to just stay the heck away from those cages mm -hmm. at all costs. Don't ride alongside of them for longer than you need to. Get away from them, pass them, get yourself in some open road, and, and uh, you have to ride defensively. Hi, I'm Lorenzo Lamas, and please go to rideagain.com, get as much information about uh, that organization as you can, and help riders get back in the saddle.